What is up guys? Welcome to your 41st tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about something called the Doppler effect. Now if you go look on Google or go look in a physics textbook you're going to see that the Doppler effect is when the frequency of a wave increases or decreases due to the source moving closer or further away pretty hard concept to understand when you're just reading it but once you look at this example it's going to make a lot more sense so say that you have a big lake just like that pretty good looking lake now of course since we're bored like we usually are and since we're super strong in this tutorial what we decided to do one day is we thought it would be funny to take these huge rocks and throw them in the middle of the lake. So this is the spot where we're going to throw rocks, rock, and we'll say that we throw one rock into the lake every second. Well, sounds good to me. One rock every second. So whenever we throw rocks into the lake, of course, it's going to cause one ripple or one wave every second. All right. Cool for us. We're having a good time. Not bugging anyone. However, there are two boaters that we didn't see. There's one boater right here and one boater right here. I guess they're in little sailboats. We'll name this boater on the left A and we'll name this one on the right B. So basically, when both of these boats, A and B, are perfectly still, what they're going to do is they're going to experience one wave per second or one ripple per second because that's how often we're throwing these rocks into the lake. Now, boat B right here, you see this guy? He's a little, you know, hot-headed. He's going to get real angry. So he's going to think that we're right here, and he's going to start going towards the source of the rocks. Since, you know, he's hoping to find someone, cuss him out. He doesn't know that we're in our cottage over here throwing them from the edge. But anyways, he's going to start traveling towards the center where we're throwing the rocks, and he's going to notice that the waves are now occurring more frequently. Why is this? Because as he is moving towards the source, towards the middle where the rocks are being thrown, that means he experiences waves more quickly or more frequently. So maybe now instead of one wave per second, he's seeing three waves every second. Interesting. So now this person is saying seeing three waves per one second. Just go ahead and write that down. Now, person A, on the other hand, he is a little wimp, and he's getting freaked out by these ripples. So he's like, you know what? I'm going home. I'm going in this direction because that's where he lives. Now, as person A starts going away from the source of the waves or away from this point right here, he's going to notice a decrease in frequency. Ugh. Uh, decrease in frequency. So maybe he's only going to see one wave every five seconds now. Let me write this down. So this person, due to the motion of their boat and due to the fact that the source, which is this rock right here, is moving closer to them, they're going to see an increased frequency. And this person in boat A, since they're moving away from the source, they're going to notice a decreased frequency or the waves hitting them less frequently than they were before. So that's basically what the Doppler effect is. Remember, the definition that I told you guys before is when the frequency of a wave increases or decreases due to the source, which is this rock, becoming closer or further away. So whenever you get closer to the source, you experience a higher frequency. Further away, you experience a lower frequency. That's what the Doppler effect is. A lot of people talk about this in relation to sound. And later on, once we start learning a little more about sound, we are going to see why things like ambulances and if you're watching a motorcycle race then the frequency appears to be higher as they're getting closer towards you.